continue on a sporting trend now and shift gears slightly. In just a few days, of course, the brand new Super Rugby season will be kicking off and the South African franchises look like genuine contenders for the title, of course, after the 2019 Rugby World Cup. The Rugby Championship wins. There's a lot to feel positive about. The Stormers recorded a fantastic pre-season win over the Sharks. That was to set the tone for the season ahead, or at least they hope so. Their fantastic performance in that match earned them our pick for the team of the week this week. And this is what happened when I had the opportunity to meet up with John Dobson and the team at Newlands. Twenty nineteen was obviously a massive year for South African rugby. We won the rugby championship, we brought home the Webb Ellis trophy. But it begs the question, can that translate into super rugby success for 2020 after very much a below par season for most of the South African franchises last year? In particular, a Springbok laden Stormers side. Well, they got their pre season opener on Superhero Sunday off to a flyer with a narrow victory over the Sharks. Can they carry that momentum into their opener here at Newlands against the Canes? And how are they going to fare under their new head coach, John Dobson? Well, we've come down to Newlands to hopefully answer a couple of those questions. Keeping a watchful eye, team's looking good, John. Uh, welcome to the top job. How are you settling in? Yeah, oh, enjoying it. Uh, um, yeah, there's a good energy out of the place. So we like a, it's almost like a perfect storm of various things, you know, like the Springboks winning the World Cup and then coming back here. You know, it's our last year at Newlands. Uh, we, have, yeah, we haven't got a bad draw. You know, we've got seven of our first ten games are here, so it seems like it's sort of, hopefully for once the planets are aligning. Just looking at the practice session now, yeah, you can see the players are pumped, but incredible balance, some exciting, very quick youngsters. You talk about the core of those Springboks, the stalwarts like Dylan Lates. What do you need from those senior players this season? I think it's, it's, it's key show this game management and maturity, because Herschel Dainties and, uh, and Damon Vrins got potential to be the next Gregan and Larkin. Sure. But they, you were, I think that by their own admission, their game management or it's not there, it's just not, not the experience, yeah. yeah. So, Dylan and that's uh, got to bring. Dylan's got to bring that. That's why Jamie Roberts is here. I know you're probably going to get to that. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie's here because you know, if a uh, youngster like Ricky Victoria is going to be a magnificent centre, but outside Damien Willems, might get, you know, uh, he, he's got a 92 Test veteran outside. It makes it a little bit different, you know. As well as the veteran Welsh centre, the team boasts World Cup winners Bongi Mbonambi, Franz Melherba, Stephen Kitsoff, Sia Kalisi, Peter Steph Dutoy, Herschel Yankees, and Damien Willemsa. We've got sort of a, a leadership group going at the moment with a couple of couple of guys and we know what's expected, you know, we, we have to be the ones setting the standards, whether it's on the field or off the field, you know, our behaviour sets the tone. And now uh, we've got this, a theme we want to live by is this, this campaign is to get Cape Town smiling. And, you know, we, we as the seniors, you know, what Dobbo said to us, you know, the way we train, you know, the way we play, where we act, you know, we interact with, with our fans and, you know, the little kids or whether it's an old lady coming up to you just to say congratulations or well done in the weekend's game, you know. The way we interact, you know, the, the, the young guys are just going to feed off that and, you know, that's how hopefully we'll get people to come to Newland to support us and I will get Cape Town smiling again. No, the team is feeling absolutely uh, brilliant. I think uh, some of the guys had 11-week pre-season and with the box coming back, bringing a lot of energy, bringing some experience. Um, I think the team is actually growing day by day and, and getting better every day. And I think that's one of the key work on for us is just to improve as, as the weeks go by. And, and as the tournament goes by, we want to improve every week and when it gets to the final, we'll be at our best. I think up front, we just need to be, be consistent. We need consistent performances and, and play, play to the best of our ability. I think when we start uh, incorporating the youth with the senior guys and, and the guys start jailing and playing together we're going to see some brilliant uh, things happen on the field and I think results will turn in our way. Reports suggest that the Stormers will move from Newlands to the Cape Town Stadium in 2021 but first they've got a big title to challenge for and no one's going to make it easy. How are you feeling about the new stadium? I think it's going to feel like cheating on your wife. Yeah, you know, I think it's, as I said, the three things, you know, the last year at Newlands, the Springbok thing, and hopefully at draw we could do something special. Nothing like opening your accounts with a trial by fire up against the Canes. What are you expecting there? Yeah, I mean, obviously, we're incredibly nervous, but it's got a funny feeling that something nice is brewing here, you know, and um, just what coach to the players, I mean, the Springboks, they've come back, you've seen them, they're fully in, they're energised, they're happy, they, they want to win Super Rugby, they've got a taste of winning, so... Look, I'm touch wood, I think there's something brewing here. 
The Stormers officially kickstart their Super Rugby campaign for 2020 here at Newlands this coming Saturday, the 1st of February, up against the Hurricanes. It's going to be a titanic clash. And we want you to support all of the South African franchises, but if you can, come and see the Stormers play here at home. In fact, they're playing nine out of their first 10 matches in South Africa, and you want to see them play at Newlands before they say their final farewell to what is a beautiful and a historic stadium.